morning everyone, my name is Todd Schmidt and today I'm going to be talking about does soil moisture and temperature affect formation of fruiting bodies above the ground in fungi. And an introduction, soil moisture, it affects the photosynthetic potential and soil fertility for plants and fungi to grow and reproduce. The high concentrations of nitrogen and phosphate in the soil increases the growth rate in plants and fungi including the fruiting bodies. The lower the soil moisture, the less fruiting bodies you will have because there are not enough nutrients for the fungi to survive. Um, therefore, there is no excess nutrients for the fungi to grow. And certain types of soils are better than others of retaining these nutrients in the ground. Uh, this can help fungi survive better in uh, different parts of the region and all around the country. Uh, different climates can have major impact on the fungi, fungi bodies. Uh, fruiting bodies are more abundant in average climate temperatures and high humidity levels compared to uh, the hot and cold regions that are uh, around other different regions. Fruiting bodies usually grow in autumn and in the spring usually. And fungi store nutrients in their bodies until weather conditions are right. Uh, fruiting bodies are called mushrooms, puffballs, birds nests, corals. Um, fungi start uh, storing nutrients as soon as they can, so when the time is right, they can grow as quick as possible. Um, fungi only fruit once a year and need all the nutrients they can get. Mushrooms get bigger when they have more water. Cell enlargement is the expansion of cells inside the mushrooms, and it happens very quickly. The faster the cells absorb the water, the bigger the mushroom will get. Uh, without water, the fruiting bodies can't grow, so. And a little bit of background. Uh, humidity can help the fruiting bodies grow as well. Uh, the water in the air can um, help uh, and pretty much get the fruiting bodies bigger than if the air had less condensation in it. Uh, in the microbiology journal, I learned that fruiting bodies need at least 15% moisture in the air to grow. Uh, some uh, species of fungi can grow in unsterilized soil. Um, Dictoxthelium can grow in unsterilized soil or sterilized soil, so it doesn't really matter there. And my hypothesis uh, for this experiment, at what temperature and moisture level is the best for fruiting bodies to grow in? And I propose an experiment. I will have 12 small mushrooms, all the same fungi species. Then I will put the same amount of water in each pot. A cup of water will be added to all 12 pots, around eight fluid ounces, with one mushroom for each pot. Next, I will have a specific temperatures of 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 degrees, 60 degrees, 70 degrees, and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and also 90 degrees set in an incubator or small greenhouse. And I will have two sets of tests for this experiment. The first test will be with the temperatures 40 to 90 degrees with zero humidity. The second test that we'll be doing will be between 40 degrees and 90 degrees, but this test will have a humidity level of 60%, like the mornings and mostly uh, in the afternoons on a regular day. There will be six pods for each testing experiment. Uh, the humidity levels in the fall are between 60% in the mornings and 40% in the afternoons. So this will be a good testing level to see uh, what kind of reaction we'll get from the fruiting bodies. Also, I will measure all the mushrooms before placing them into the greenhouse um, just to make sure that we get accurate results. And here's a little chart I have. Uh, the record and the increase and decrease of fruiting body growth, uh, I'll just record by hours. Um, as you can see here, I'll go by one hour, three hours, six hours, and nine hours, all dealing with sunlight. And these are my citations.